The primary objective of Apollo 11 was to complete a national goal set by President John F. Kennedy on May 25, 1961 – perform a crewed lunar landing and return to the Earth. Additional flight objectives included scientific exploration by the lunar module, deployment of a television camera to transmit signals to Earth, and deployment of a solar wind composition experiment and seismic experiment package. During the exploration, the two astronauts were to gather samples of lunar surface materials for return to Earth. They also were to extensively photograph the lunar terrain, the deployed scientific equipment, the lunar module spacecraft, and each other both with still and motion picture cameras. This was the last Apollo mission to fly a free return trajectory, which would enable a return to Earth with no engine firing, providing a ready abort of the mission at any time prior to lunar orbit insertion. On July 20, 1969, American astronauts Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin became the first humans to ever land on the moon. About six and a half hours later, Armstrong became the first person to walk on the moon. As he took his first steps, Armstrong famously said, that's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Armstrong and Aldrin spent 21 hours 36 minutes on the moon's surface. After a rest period that included 7 hours of sleep, the ascent stage engine fired at 124 hours and 22 minutes. It was shut down 435 seconds later when the Eagle reached an initial orbit of 11 by 55 miles above the moon, and when Columbia was on its 25th revolution. As the ascent stage reached 125 hours and 19 minutes, the reaction control system fired to nearly circularize the Eagle orbit at about 56 miles, some 30 miles below and slightly behind Columbia. While most people accept this as fact, there are some people out there who believe that the moon landing never happened. In Western Australia during the live broadcast of the Apollo 11 landing, several people saw a very unusual occurrence. One viewer, Una Ronald, watched the telecast and was astonished with what she saw. The residents of Honeysuckle Creek, Australia actually saw a different broadcast to the rest of the world. Just shortly before Armstrong stepped onto the moon's surface, a change could be seen where the picture goes from a stark black to a brighter picture. Honeysuckle Creek stayed with the picture and although the voice transmissions were broadcast from Goldstone, the actual film footage was broadcast from Australia. As Una watched Armstrong walking on the surface of the moon, she spotted a coke bottle that was kicked in the right hand side of the picture. This was in the early hours of the morning and she phoned her friends to see if they'd seen the same thing. Unfortunately, they'd missed it but were going to watch the rebroadcast the next day. Needless to say, the footage had been edited, and the coke bottle had been cut out of the film. But several other viewers had seen the coke bottle, and many articles appeared in the West Australian newspaper. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more countdown videos.